today's foldable, we are going to have two sheets of paper and a pair of scissors. We're going to take one of the sheets of paper and we are going to fold it in half. So we go from a whole to two halves. And yes, we are doing some math vernacular in a project because you'll never escape math. Trust me. All right, so we're going to take those halves and we're going to fold those in halves, which now gives us fourths. And I'm just folding these right along the creases of these lines. So I'm making nice, clear creases there. Okay. Now, once we have these, and they're going to fold every way, so it doesn't matter which direction you fold them. Once we have that, we are going to cut right into here. Right about there. Okay. Maybe too close, but we'll see. And we're going to cut right over here. Now, you'd like to try to make them even, but close enough for right now. So we're going to take that sheet of paper and we are going to set it aside. shapes out of it. Okay, I better leave it alone before I rip it. It's not playing. Alright, again, uh, we're going to fold it into fourths, but before we fold our second piece of paper, it is critical that we just do this little portion right here. We're going to fold over about an inch, and we're going to cut this piece off. Now, I always line up the edges and then make my crease. That way I get nice straight lines to cut. Now, the trick is can you cut in a straight line? Close enough. So now, this shorter piece of paper, we are going to do the same process with. We are going to take this and gonna fold it over one more. Alright, so once we have all four of these cut, we can then take them over here. Now, I might be moving a little fast, so since this is recorded, please hit pause, rewind, and do that as much as you need to do in order to follow along. Alright, our goal is to weave these strips of paper in and out. So we have green, purple, green, so now we're wanting to do purple, green, purple, like so. All right, then we got to go green, purple, green. And again, we're going to go purple, green, purple. like this. So this foldable is called the open doors, closed doors. And basically what we might have is, let's say we put one plus one equals, very challenging, one plus one equals, now watch very carefully, it's like a magic trick, 
when we open the doors, what we're going to do is grab the inner side of it. Let me try this right. And we're going to write the answers down here. So, and we could do uh, three here and four here. All right, and then we have to, if you, so then we close it, and we let it fold open again like that. So we might do one plus two, and then one plus three, etc. So, one plus one. Mm, gee, very difficult. Uh, I don't know if I can do this. Close my doors, and I want you to see how I open that up. There's my answer. All right, one plus two equals, oh, uh, what is the answer? Three. Okay, very cool. So you can do this in many different ways. Um, leave. You have a total of, let's see, 12, 24. I believe you have 24 objects that you can put here. So. If the students are needing to review uh, vocabulary or steps or something along those lines, this is a great foldable for that. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. Uh, please feel free to use this as much as possible, whenever possible.